Hey everyone, uh, it's Dusty Monkey here. I'm here at the Geek Gear HQ and I'm going to do an unboxing on location. Uh, we're doing the Geek Gear Wizardry. It's a Gryffindor box. So let's have a look what's inside. So we're going to tear open the infamous rip pool that everyone loves. Makes life a lot easier for opening the boxes. Uh, all right. Got the book. We'll look at that after because that's cheating. Uh, cool. So the first thing we've got is a captain pin. I'm going to come. Captain pin. So that's obviously a Gryffindor captain for uh, I would think Quidditch. I guess. I'm not the I'm not the resident Harry Potter expert. Um. Oh, it's quite heavy. That's quite a nice pin. There you go. Made by Geek Gear. So that's very nice. Comes in a lovely little box, which I now know boxes are difficult to make. Um, oh, this gleam of scarlet steam engine. And that's my nephew shouting in the background, wanting some juice. Ah, so here's a little. Uh, Magical steam engine. This gleaming scarlet steam engine plays a major role in the world of witches and wizards. It takes them from King's Cross Station to the famous wizard village. You'll have no need for port keys when you have access to the magical locomotive. Let's have a looky. Just while I'm opening this, in the background, we have a huge collection of Harry Potter stuff. Can't go too far around in case we give out spoilers for other boxes um, and I get into trouble. That wouldn't be good. So this is just a lovely um, like plastic figure of the train. Like a collectible. It's really nice. It's quite heavy actually. Uh, we'll do the t-shirt next. Oh, I like this t-shirt. It's got uh, Hagrid on his bike and what looks like the world in the background. Um, his magical bike that flies, that he saves Harry in more than once when he picks him up for the first time and when he's trying to get away from Voldemort. So yeah, that's a really nice t-shirt. Very nice. Good job, Geek Gear. Oh, and um, we've got what uh, feels like a wand in a uh, really nice wrap paper. So one thing Geek Gear is good at is wrapping their stuff in good uh, materials and uh, Really authentic looking packaging. Magic item, handle care. Whose wand is this? I don't even know. There we go. So Geek Gear also do very good wands. They're all, they've all got metal in them, so they're very solid compared to some others that you can get um, from other boxes or, or eBay, for example. I wonder if I can spot which one this is. No. I've got no idea what one this is. Uh, the missus will be very annoyed that I don't even know. But she's not here at the moment, so tough. So yeah, that's a really nice one. If anybody does know whose one it is, leave a comment and let me know um, so I don't get shouted at. And then we've got... Butterscotch soap. I'm guessing this is soap. This smells really like butterscotch. So that's nice. So maybe a hint for everyone who does unboxings. But yeah, butterscotch soap, soap. Butterscotch and Harry Potter seems to go hand in hand. I found. But I think that's to do with butterbeer. We'll get through all this tissue. I feel really bad. Because I'm looking at all the people here who've probably had to sit and wrap this. <laughs> um, oh, that's nice. It's not the colour I expected out of butterscotch soap, but it's nice and glittery. So that'll be good. It really does smell. You guys won't be able to smell that. But if you've got your own boxes, you would be able to smell things like this. And uh, on that note, I'll leave a link as to where you can sign up to Where's the Drinking Box. You can choose from all the different houses, so you'll get things that are house related as well. That's really cool. Then um, we've got... Oh, this is going to the wife before I can even say anything. A tote bag, and it is um, do with Hogwarts, Quidditch, Wizards, I have no idea. But I know that I won't be allowed to keep this because that's just what happens with tote bags in my house. I do not get to keep these things. So yeah, that's nice. Good size, opens up. I could put my head in it. 
Yeah, it's fine. I'm not sure. Um, did they come in different colours for different houses? Yeah, so they did come in different uh, colours for the different houses. Obviously, we got a Gryffindor, so red. And then we've got the recipes of the month. We've got tons of these things. We've never made any yet, which is really poor of us. Gonna have to get Rara to make some and record her making them. So we've got house scarf cupcakes. So that's how to make cupcakes with different coloured icing. Um, giving you, um, oh, it's got a scarf at the bottom, which makes it a scarf. And we've got acid pops. It sounds uh, just like something out of a decade before I was born. Uh, caution when working with hot sugar. Ah, so it's a sugary. Oh, I'm guessing it's like a soury lollipop. So yeah, you get to melt uh, hot sugar, which is always fun, and I won't be allowed to do because I get I do, I'm dangerous in the kitchen. And then we've got Molly's roast chicken dinner, which looks really nice. I could do a go a roast chicken dinner. Hint. My mum's a camera woman at the moment, so big hint. Um, yeah, so that's making a roast dinner. Some really good recipes. And then we've got someone we should all recognise. Demi guys. He well, or maybe never see because he goes invisible. That's the print for this month. Um they've done a few of these where you get to see where it's got like a main picture and some uh, little notes of the creature. So I think they did a Niffler one. I can't really remember. They've done a few though. So that's the Demi Guys print. Uh, it's quite a nice print. I do like these prints. They're always um, designed in geek gear, so that's always good in house. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll quickly go through the book just to sum everything up because there's children running around in the background and uh, they're going to make noise. Uh, right, so we've got an exclusive wand, we've got the train. We've got the recipes, the... Oh, Arlen's down. Um, we've got the Demiguise print. We've got the Captain pin, so they did come in the different colours. We've got the Wizarding House tote bag, so it depends on which house you were. The really nice t-shirt and the Butterscotch soap bar, which is also really nice. Um, we've got next month's hint, which is... Um, the... Oh, what are they? The three really big, powerful wizards that had their three magical items. The the wand, the cloak, and the stone. And then we've got the YouTuber Spotlight of the month. So let me know what you thought of this box. Um, I quite liked it. I think there's some good items. I'm dropping everything. And uh, this is just a random encounter where I am now at uh, on location at Geek Gear HQ. Sadly, I can't go showing you everything because, you know, don't want to leave spoilers for next month. But uh, needless to say, I'm going to go have a rake round and see what I can spoil for my surprises next month. Anyway, in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe, hit the like, share it, and uh, say hi in the comments. I'll catch you next time. Bye!